Hello everyone, welcome to Gamescom 2020 and welcome to another Iceberg Ahead. I'm Dan Marr bringing you the latest news and gameplay from Iceberg Interactive. There's announcements, release dates and a couple of surprises to look forward to, starting with a brand new title featuring Doug Cockle, the voice of The Witcher himself. Prepare for some difficult decisions, this is Sacred Fire. Hunting beasts teaches you how to read the signs and sense danger. When to let instincts take over. Study your prey. Bait it. See how it reacts. Find its weakness and lure it out. Wait for the perfect moment and move in for the kill. But are we mere beasts or something more? The answer is yours to find. Ready your weapons and your nerves for psychological RPG Sacred Fire from Slovakian team Poetic Studio. It's coming to Steam in 2021 and you can wishlist it today. We hope you're enjoying the Gamescom festivities, including the coverage on IGN. They had the exclusive drop on some big iceberg news, including brand new trailers for these upcoming titles. From GetUp Games in Belgium, gather your crew and leap into fast-paced action on land or sea when Blazing Sails Pirate Battle Royale sets sail on early access on September 9th. The developers of Blazing Sails have exciting plans to grow and evolve the game, from new content to seasonal events. Be the first to know by joining the community on the official Blazing Sails Discord. IGN has the brand new trailer, so follow the link in the description to check it out. Earlier this week, IGN announced that our Lovecraftian horror adventure Conarium, currently available on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Check out the announcement trailer on their website and don't forget to follow Iceberg Interactive on Twitter to be the first to know exactly when you'll get to play. Finally, Cyberpunk collides with cosmic horror in Transient, the latest from Conarium creators Stormlink Studios. Discover the secrets behind a neon-soaked dystopia, a truth that could tear apart reality and your sanity. Explore fractured realms of consciousness and solve environmental puzzles when Transient hits PC this October and PlayStation and Xbox in 2021. There's a new trailer over at IGN. Follow the link in the description. Have you ever tried balancing a grand piano on your car? If you've been watching IGN this week, you might have seen someone trying to do just that in our hilarious physics puzzle game, Radical Relocation. If you missed their great coverage, don't worry, here's a brand new trailer. Get your furniture out on your driveway and prepare to move out. Radical Relocation is smashing onto Steam this Monday, August the 31st. And did anyone else spot a helicopter? That's a tease of the exciting updates planned by Kiwi developers Winglet Entertainment. Discover more on the game's Steam store page. Speaking of Steam, here are three more great games heading there soon. 
Available now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, The Sojourn will arrive on Steam September 29th. From British studio Shifting Tides, this is a breathtakingly beautiful, intricate puzzle game. Travel between a world of light and shadow as you search for answers in an experience PlayStation Universe described as one of the best of the year. The Digital Deluxe Edition will also include the game's soundtrack by composer Nemo Hasemi. Confront your dark family history in Lunacy St. Rhodes, a first-person horror game where every decision you make changes the course of the story. Introducing The Author, an advanced artificial intelligence that observes how you play and adapts to your every move, meaning no two visits to the town of St. Rhodes will be the same. Experience the nightmare for yourself when Lunacy St. Rhodes releases on PC Holiday 2020. Endure a galactic cold war in Lord of Rigel, 4x space strategy from Romba Studios. Choose between warring elder races, forge your own coalition, or go it alone. Navigate council politics and defeat grand menaces while utilizing espionage, research, and military force to shape the galaxy. Rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine, Lord of Rigel is coming to Steam in 2021. Speaking of 4X, last year we revealed Star Dynasties. Set in a divided galaxy following Earth's destruction, the game mixes light empire management with a unique procedurally generated narrative of human drama and feudal politics. And who better to tell you all about it than the developer himself? Here's Pauly Games founder Glenn Pauly to talk love, betrayal and the complexities of both. Star Dynasties is a procedural narrative strategy game. It's set in a regressive future after the destruction of Earth. It mixes this uh, lightweight empire management strategy layer with an emergent narrative of human drama and feudal politics. The colonies in Star Dynasties have been carved up by political houses that essentially own regions of these bases and these industrial installations. And the houses are families with a patriarch or a matriarch at their head, the family, the extended family, and some trusted advisors of the family. Characters in your house are going to have a particular skill set, and you'll assign them to roles within your house. You might assign them to be diplomats, and then send them out to other houses to act as your representatives. You might assign them to administration, where they'll help you administer both your house and your empire. You might assign them to military, where they will help in the military adventures that your house embarks on. You might assign them to the medical department, and you might assign them to security, where they will help ferret out the secrets of your opponents and hide your own. In the 22nd century, humanity has started colonizing the galaxy. We've built mining installations, we've built shipyards outside of our solar system, refueling stations for further exploration, so we're just starting to colonize space. Then disaster strikes, and Earth is destroyed, and all these colonies are trying to survive without the lifeline of resources from Earth. There's a period of lawlessness and war. They're trying to survive. Their biggest enemy turns out to be each other. All political, economic, and technological progress is effectively lost. It's a few hundred years later, and the survivors have stabilized in a kind of simple feudal society. I've been a lifelong player of strategy games, particularly empire management strategy games like Civilization. But there's something a little bit unrealistic about those games, because if you think of kings and queens of the past, their concerns would have been a lot more personal. Star Dynasties will appeal to players of empire management strategy games, but it's also going to appeal to players who like narratives of human drama and feudal politics, like the soap opera of kings and queens of Game of Thrones. Star Dynasties is coming to Steam in 2021. If you want to participate in the next closed alpha, be sure to join the Iceberg Interactive Discord. And if you want to hear more from Glenn, there's a three-part dev diary on our YouTube channel exploring every facet of this ambitious narrative. Now, as well as all of these fantastic new titles, we're still supporting our existing games. Let's take a look at a couple of recent free content updates. Following new DLC released this summer, this week Railroad Corporation got a free update. 
Wildlands. A new map brings new opportunities as you establish your own railroad empire across 19th century North America. Race against time as well as the competition to bring settlements together, produce and trade goods, and develop new technologies. In fast-paced multiplayer RTS Circle Empire's Rivals, you take control of your own tiny kingdoms and conquer a circular world overflowing with monsters to hunt and loot to hoard. And now, thanks to a recent free update, there's a new way to play – Defend the Castle. In this online co-op mode, you'll need to work together with your friends to repel wave after wave of aggressive enemies. Now, I don't think it's a secret that the team here at Iceberg loves sci-fi, so we're thrilled about our final announcement. Interstellar Rift is an open-world space simulator with an emphasis on ship construction. You'll need to survive in a hostile galaxy, alone or, better yet, with your friends. We jumped aboard to help the game transition from early access to a full release. Let's see how it's shaping up. Yes, after five years, the long wait is over. Interstellar Rift exits early access and releases in full on Steam September 24th. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Iceberg Ahead. If you want to join our community, get the latest news and announcements first, interact with developers and participate in exclusive giveaways, the Iceberg Interactive Discord is the place to be. You can also find us and our games on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.